Good morning, bakers. Today we are looking at something very interesting. If you are a baker or an aspiring baker, you have heard of the terminology convection oven. There are basically two types of convection ovens, mini convection ovens and commercial convection ovens. Behind me is a commercial convection oven, 12 tray. We will check what it entails. As you can see inside, why we call it commercial? Because of the size, the sheer size of the machine. And you can see at the back, very large, powerful fans. And this oven is more advanced in terms of uh, features because here there is a trolley that is this special trolley is specially made to work inside the oven to allow you uh, basically allows you to load and offload your product with much ease so let me give you a brief history of convection ovens as far as Bakewave is concerned. Bakewave was the first company in Kenya seven years ago to introduce on a large scale commercial convection ovens in Kenya. And we have sold over 150 units in different parts of, of the country. And the, most of those are small bakeries between 1,000 to 2,000 loaves production per day. So a person that needs such a machine is a middle level baker 1000 to 2000 loaves a day it could be a school it could be a supermarket or just a, a baking shop a hot bread shop uh, that uh, <clears throat> you are looking at so uh, to check uh, to stress out some of the other issues about the convection ovens is that why you will need a convection oven over a deck oven of a rotary oven. The first thing is that this oven is very efficient when it comes to power consumption. It is uh, producing, uh, this can produce about 140 loaves per hour. When we, uh, there is a, tro a special trolley for bread, uh, which is much spaced. It gives eight uh, spaces, eight, eight gaps. So that will produce 140 loaves per hour. And the consumption for that, the power consumption, is between four to five units of power. When you compute that with the current Kenya power rate at 25 shillings per unit, you'll find that you'll spend between 100 and 125 shillings to produce 140 loaves. When you divide that with simple math, you'll find that you are spending less than a shilling to produce one loaf. Today in Kenya, this is the most efficient baking uh, machine due to increase in diesel prices. Rising diesel prices has made this the most efficient way to bake in the middle level. That is if you are producing 1,000 to 2,000 loaves. Of course, uh, if you are producing 5,000 loaves, this could not be uh, ideal because of the volume. At that point is when you consider a rotary oven because we have one rotary oven that produces 660 loaves at a, in one hour. It means in 10 hours you'll do 6,600 and that means that you will reach your volume much faster as opposed to when you are using this. However, the consumption rate of that rotary oven and this convection oven per loaf could be the same. And that is why you need to choose the right equipment based on the scale of production. So that being said about con consumption, the other thing we've noted over the seven years is that convection oven is the only oven that achieves almost 100% baking uniformity. What do I mean? If I have a product on the top shelf here and another one here, is that when I look after 21 minutes or so, if you bake, we bake bread with about 21 minutes with the convection oven, this bread here, will have the same color browning as the one below. And this is a very critical issue because it's very difficult to achieve that in a rotary oven and in the deck oven. And the reason is the convection oven has powerful fans that assist in the circulation of uh, power. Let's take a look <coughs> how simply it works. So we switch it on. The above, it is, this is the temperature control where you set your temperature. 
it's now below zero because we are not baking, but basically you set your temperature here and it will start to rise uh, very fast. So, <coughs> and below that, we have uh, the fan. It's a component, a critical component of the convection oven, the fan indicator. You have the auto option and the hand option. So what happens when I set the auto options, the oven fan will come on automatically. You can hear, it's, you can see down the, uh, inside there, it has come on automatically. It means when I, 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 I open the door, the fan will switch off because it's on auto. So it's slowing down. However, there is another option, where you call it the hand option. If I set this fan to hand option like that, when I switch, when I open the door, you'll see it will not stop, okay? That's how it works when the baking is going on. This is demonstrate that you can clearly see with those, uh, you can clearly see with those very powerful fans, there is no way your heat circulation will not be efficient. It provides one of the most efficient ways of distributing heat inside your oven. And that's why a convection oven will bake bread in a record 21 to 25 minutes, as opposed to a deck oven that will take 35 minutes or a rotary oven that will take 30 minutes. So actually also, the duration of baking is directly proportional to consumption because the longer you bake, the longer the consumption and so on and so on. That's a very also important factor to consider. Uh, the other important feature of a convection oven is it produces very high qual quality bread products. What do I mean by that? It has a steam capability, which I'll, I'll show you how it works. It has a steam function and that steam functions allows the crust of bread, buns, or any other product to come out soft and golden brown. Let's take a look at the steam. Uh, this is the steam function uh, down here. So when I switch on the steam, I will set the temperature at what, after how many seconds or minutes do I want the steam to work? So let's take a look. I can set here, I want my steam I want the oven to steam after 20 seconds or let's say 30 seconds because when I put in the bread, I want to, uh, it to start baking and then steam it immediately, uh, 30 seconds when I put in my loaf. So after that, I will set, uh, make sure it's on. So after 30 seconds, it will automatically pour in, there is steaming jets, pour in water inside the chamber making uh, it moist and uh, moistening the, the, the crust of your product. And when the heat impacts on that, it makes the crust soft and improves the color to golden brown. The other thing we have to talk about is the speed or the time the convection oven takes to bake. And that's why we have this timer function here. Okay, for example, if I want to set the time, normally we uh, bake the bread uh, like uh, 20 minutes but I don't have that 20 minutes so I'll just set like uh, 20 seconds as a demonstration let's say 30 seconds then I, I activate the time and wait so it's supposed to when that time depletes supposed to make an alarm to assume that your product is ready because for bread we bake at an approximately 21 to 25 minutes for bars it will take about 10 minutes to 15 minutes and therefore making the convection oven one of the fastest uh, ovens in baking because of the heat circulation efficiency. So let's see we have four seconds, three, two and one and that is it. So it's supposed to alert you that your product is ready and you're supposed to uh, switch it off and remove your product. And finally I want to mention that Due to the commercial aspect of the convection oven, BakeWave has improved, uh, has worked on an improvement of uh, loading and offloading the convection oven. Because previously, all our convection ovens were without this uh, trolley. But today, we have a, a, a trolley that allows you to load in the product very fast 
and to load it out very fast, reducing the time taken to open the door because that's a critical issue. The longer you open the door, the longer you lose power or the, lo the longer you lose heat and therefore the more power you consume. So this is a very important feature because that's why we have this tool modified. <coughs> uh, this tool allows you to load, to offload the trolley in, uh, in one go because it's assuming that it's hot. So let's assume I want to offload. What I will I do? I will uh, <coughs> put this here. At that point, you have to know that the trolley is very hot. Okay, so I use this tool and I just simply remove all my product aside, okay? And immediately, I will take another trolley full of product and I will load it in and continue my baking. So I'll take less than 10 seconds or, or 20 seconds to, to offload and to load again and therefore reducing the door opening timeline uh, of this uh, oven, making it also one of the most efficient ways of baking. So finally, I want to uh, finalize on this presentation and say that depending on your level of baking, the convection oven could be the most efficient oven today in Kenya. But you need to know how many loaves am I producing in a day. For example, if I'm doing uh, 1,000 to 2,000 loaves, this is the most ideal oven because it's giving me 140 loaves per hour. So in 10 hours, I can do 1,400 loaves at a very low cost of, for example, uh, if in an hour I'm spending 100 shillings, in 10 hours, I'll spend 1,000 shillings. With only a thousand shillings, I'll produce 1,400 loaves, making it one of the most efficient ways of baking. If you are to produce the same 1,400 loaves with a rotary oven, a bigger oven, a big rotary oven, it would not achieve that efficiency. You spend up, you spend more than that. Why? It's because of the economies of scale. You are, uh, you have a low production than, for example, a rotary oven that is producing 660 loaves per hour. But if you are at 8,000 loaves in a day. You have no business with this. You will need to acquire the largest rotary oven, which produces 660 loaves per hour, and in 10 hours, you achieve your 6,000 loaves. However, if you are below 500 loaves, there is a smaller convection oven of this. Check in the next uh, video, we will review five tray convection oven. And that is why, as bakers, you have to always remember your volume of production will determine your type of equipment that you, you will take and also the efficiency that you achieve. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I hope that after this you have learned more about commercial convection ovens. Check also our blogs. We write all these details in our blogs for you to, if you want uh, to print that, those details to refer to them. You can check our blog on BakeWave uh, website. Thank you so much and remember to subscribe to our channel.